It's in Moroni 1032, and it says, Yea, come unto Christ, and be perfected in him, and deny yourselves of all ungodliness. And if ye shall deny yourselves of all ungodliness, and love God with all your might, mind, and strength, then is his grace sufficient for you, that by his grace ye may be perfect in Christ, and if by the grace of God ye are perfect in Christ, ye can in no ways deny the power of God. That one I loved for two reasons. Um, it, it talks about us coming into Christ and being perfected in Him and denying ourselves of all ungodliness. I found on my mission when I really tried to, to turn my will over to the Lord and do everything that He had asked me and do it as well as I could, which included when I wasn't very cheerful, acting cheerful and being happy. And when, when I had blisters on my feet, just walking the extra mile. Um, but when I did that and when I strived to serve Him with all my heart, might, mind, and strength, that's when I, I felt filled with his love. And I really understood a little better what it meant to come into Christ. But something else I loved about the verse is um, Elder Bednar talked about how grace, in the Bible dictionary, it also talks about the enabling power of the atonement. And I loved, I loved this verse for that. It mentions grace again and again, how you are perfect um, because of grace, the grace of Christ. And if you come unto Christ, then... The grace of God will be with you and the power of God. And it just reminds me of how on my mission, the more, the more that I invited the Spirit into my life, the more the power of God was there so the Lord could do His work. Um, and things fell into place as He wanted them to, and, and the work progressed. And it was wonderful to, to be an instrument in His hands to really see what, what He could do with His own work.